What's up, everyone? I got a new camera. You can see my face now. <laughs> Hope we're doing good. Sorry I wasn't here last week. I had quite a lot going on. I still have a lot going on, but I'm here. So, hope everybody's well. Let's, uh, let's see, I need YouTube here. Hopefully my sound is good. Let's see these comments here. Yo, yo, 100. Happy 100. Thank you, Cat Wes. Ryan, thank you. Dom, thank you. 100 episodes. I probably should have done something. Uh, like, maybe to celebrate? And here I am. Not doing anything except going live. I should have made it into a big thing. I should have, like, some alcohol here. Um, but, what can you do? I don't know. What up, what up? Delusional Alpha Victor Max Daw Vincent Absurd Commer Sen Sen Karmer. It went by quick, I'll say. COVID will do that to us. Christopher, thank you. Uh, hi, comic tropes. <sighs> um Godspeed, the new Foo Fighters record is amazing. I was spinning it, I sp I've almost gone through twice, and I've watched a bunch. I watched the um, music video of the 10 minute long song. So, yeah, good times. Spawn! It is not too late to grab a drink. I just, I just put some gum in my mouth, so. <laughs> um, now all drinks will taste bad. Um, Mark, it's been a long time since I've listened to them. You know, I don't think they put out a ton of music, but. Um, Anyway, we got a spawn here that I forgot to draw. Um, it's like a six by nine that I was supposed to do at home. Um, I'm not really sure. Felix told me to do this, so I'm doing it now. They covered nine inch nails, Foo Fighters? That's awesome. Um, do me a favor, everyone. Hit the like button. That would help me out a lot. Apparently that's a big deal. So that's what people say. That's what I say. Here's six by nine here. This is a mess up. All right, this is before I've cut it. So I'm just not even gonna cut it right now. I'm just gonna. I got my tr trusty texture brush here. How's the sound? How am I sounding? Done, done, thank you. Thank you very much. 51 people here. That's a great number. I love it. Actually, who am I kidding? I barely look at numbers. If you want if you want an assessment of performance, you come to the wrong place. <laughs> so, good news. I don't know if I talked about this in a previous episode, but I got my new moleskin. Um because, yeah, ep uh, episode. Uh, volume 45 is complete. 45 was a rough one. Um, not all my sketchbooks are of equal uh, fun value, I guess you could say. Um, sometimes they're tough. Some are tougher than others. There's one volume in here which just has, there's no stickers on it. It's just a frowny face on the front cover because it was such a terrible experience. Got some... Uh, Stuff from Weapon Prime. Anybody here know Weapon Prime? Uh, incredible t-shirts. I mean, incredible t-shirts. Please check it out. Got this at the Pixar shop. At Pixar. No big deal. Um, oh, wait. I think I already went over this. Sorry, everyone. Oh, my gosh. I already did this. There's no manifesto in here. Thank you, Moleskin. I don't know if this is because it's an old, an old sketchbook. 
but it's going to be an adventure now every time I buy a new Moleskin sketchbook. So volume 47, Moleskin, when I buy another volume, is there going to be a BS manifesto on the second page? I hope not. We'll see. Still sore about it. It'll be one of those things. Oh, well, there goes Dan again talking about moleskins. The moleskin manifesto. Oh, God. But if you actually get to know me, I can get a little grumpy sometimes. So I know everyone here uh, knows my good side. But uh, yeah. So um, any sort of artistic manifesto in a sketchbook is going to make me very grumpy very fast. Oh, Colton got a new sketchbook that has a manifesto. Boo! Oh, white it out. White it out, draw something new on it, and then tag Moleskin saying they shouldn't do that. I need my cape ref cape reference, but I lost my cape. I'm not sure what happened to my cape. The cape is gone, and I don't feel like looking for it right now. Use crumpled paper. Oh, crumpled paper. Yeah, let's try that. big green thing that I cut paper on and it's gone. Of course it's gone. It wouldn't be an episode if I missed, if I, if I, if I was looking for something that I can't find. Ridiculous. See if this works. I'm skeptical. Incoming ASMR. <laughs> you gotta really crumple it. Oh boy. It kind of works. Oh, it totally does work, actually.
Um, I'm going to put a little bit of screen tones on here, but not a ton. Okay, so as you know, I have killed this paper with the pencil already, which means it's time to uh, go in with the Pentel pocket brush pen, which is like a wrecking ball. It's just really good for getting in there. It does not erase easily. You'll notice as soon as I pull a brush out to do the um, the cloth, it, it kind of looks a little melty, and I, I don't like that, so I'm going to try and bring this back to where I want it to be. I really love the parallel pen for um, these kind of harsh lines that can be kind of made with... And I do kind of want this to be a harsher drawing. See how Somebody's asking about the new guitar I recently got. Is that absurd? Absurd is asking about guitars. Somebody asked. Somebody else also asked about the guitar, and the new guitar is going great. It's an incredible instrument. Um, like absolutely incredible. Sorry, one sec, I'm kind of...
Sorry guys, I'm in the zone. Give me one second, I'll come back to Earth. Uh, is my dad in the chat? Oh, there he is. Hi, Dad. Can I draw a barn and a little house and some sheep and a pasture? That's funny, Dad. Love you. <laughs> my dad's, um, not, my dad's always like, yo, Dan, why are you drawing so much violence? You should just draw, like, some sheep and a barn or something. My dad, stop. My dad is trolling right now. My dad doesn't even know what that really means, but dad, you are trolling right now. You're killing me. Somebody said uh, Friday with D-Dubs Bingo. We should add my dad showing up to the chat and saying something embarrassing. Vincent, uh, Bo is almost talking, or almost uh, walking. He's taking some steps here and there. Um, and he's saying things like he said, "Dad." Um, he said, um, "He says he says mom," and that's about it. Oh, Slam Dunk the manga? I love Slam Dunk. Happy for you too, Vincent. Alright, I'm just kind of making up this armor as I go, because I... Isn't, like, one arm, like, not super armor, you know, full? Let's get in here, Let's this detail. Hey, Sean. Oh, Mateo Scalera has a kid. I, d I didn't know that. My dad uh, drew a lot of... Um, technical illustrations as a kid. A lot of pipes. He's a phys he's a um, engineer now, so makes it all makes sense.
Okay, so I made a little bit of a mistake down below here. Um, I think I do want to keep the energy of this kind of like rock texture. I really need to look up reference, but I'm in the zone and there's one thing that kills the zone, it's looking at a bunch of reference. Hi, Mom. Craig, I'm working on a spawn right now. Scott, um, commission that nobody's ever asked for, that I'm surprised nobody's asked for. It's a good question. Oh man, I'm having trouble coming up with something on the spot now. So I'm really, I'm really liking how these rocks are coming out. Okay. What are we doing? We're looking up reference for spawn. That's true. Nobody's asked for chainsaw man. If you, if you can believe it. Hi, Saman. I did do a Colossus taunt teacher. I, I um, it's a Colossus where um, um, he's getting choked out by Juggernaut. All right, um, spawn. Here we go. Just the classic look. Whoops. Okay. Let's see. Man, that's a cool design. Oh, and he's got chains on around. Okay, I'm just gonna give him chains around his waist.
Nobody's asked for like a nobody's asked for a Galvatron. I'm also surprised nobody's asked for a Unicron. Like that would be fun. A lot of work, but fun. They're sold out to do a power bomb. That's amazing. Comic tropes. Nobody's ever asked me to draw myself in a wrestling ring. No. Transformers comic zine. That would be awesome. Like a fan comic, like I do. I've thought about it. I've definitely thought about it. Gantris picked up do a power bomb. Have you read it yet? Like, have you read it before? Or are you... I'm curious. Let me know. Oh, um. J Toys is asking what kind of whiteout I use. That is the Dollar Rowney Pro White. I swear by this stuff because it's really strong post drying. Um, a lot of the other whiteouts that I use will buckle or not quite work when exposed to like water or wet surfaces. But Pro White really works well. I did do that. I did draw spawn uh, on a... Yeah. Thanks, Eddie. Welcome. Ninjani's art. You're welcome. Thanks, Rodimus. Thanks, pal. Appreciate that a lot. I'm so glad you're you dug it.
comic tropes asking where I'd put an Eisner if I won one. Well, I have to win one first. But I'd like to pretend that I don't want one, but I totally want one. Um, yeah. <laughs> I've been to the Eisners uh, twice. Both times I was nominated. I mean, it's just, you know, it stinks not to win. But uh, if I, I did win one, I'd, I'd probably just put it up in the studio. Thanks, Vincent. Well, Gantris, we'll see. Apparently the teens love me because Stu a Powerbomb got nominated for Best Teen Publication. And I'm into that. I'll take that all day. That's great. Staying cool with the kids. Uh-oh. Oh, no. What happened? Don't worry, everyone. I think it's the battery. I'm going to try something. I don't know if it's going to work, though. Bear with me. Bear with me. Can everybody still hear my voice, though? charging now. Hold on. Alright, we should be back. Awesome. Great, great, great. Oh, then you can probably hear my daughter having a meltdown. <laughs> hey, ML. You know what's so funny is um, I've got the YouTube video up, like to be able to see your comments, but it's on a delay, so now I'm seeing a black screen on YouTube. What do you think? Enough chains? Nah. More chains. Do it up with these chains, huh? Make sure it's dry. I have a tendency to not work. To work on wet. Let's do it up.
Vincent, I'm not 100% on New York Comic Con yet. Somebody asked about my um, next appearances. Sorry, I'd never responded to that. Um, my next appearance is going to be at Charlotte, in Charlotte, North Carolina, at Heroes Con. We may have gone overboard with the chains, guys. <laughs> Whoops! You know, it's okay. We're gonna save it. It's gonna be fine. I just went for it. You know, just having fun. And uh, I may have gotten a little too in the... in the details, lost in the deets. It's okay. It's okay. We're gonna pull this back. It's okay. Uh, we have made a terrible mistake. That's alright. We're going to get it back. We're going to get it back. Well, pal, I guess that says what we need to find out. <laughs> looks like I'm going to... Looks like I'm going to uh, New York Comic Con for sure. Bugs. I'm not going to Fan Expo Chicago this year. It just, um, Comic Cons have a tendency to take a lot out of me, which is cool. You know, that's, that's part of the game, but that means I need to be very selective with how many I go to and which ones I go to and, you know, if I think I can make money at these shows and there's my daughter coming down sorry mom um oh man I don't know if this like works guys <sighs> it's like a little awkward Oh, that doesn't work. Oh, God. Tokyo's Comic Head. I don't know what that is. Pow. Maybe. <laughs> oh, I've got a technically nerdy question here. Chris Goody asks, what size do you draw for your live area? Do you make your own template or buy pre-lined strap mark? I'll tell you what I do. I just have this crappy strap more 200 paper. And I just use this. Strathmore... It's all lined and I just literally trace it. And I just dropped this prime head on the floor. I'm afraid I'm going to go over it. Shoot. Damn it. 
Well, don't worry. As I was rolling back to make sure I didn't roll on the Optimus Prime head that fell on the floor, I rolled over the paper I just showed you. So, it's good. It's good. It's good. Dan, my dad's asking for 100th episode reflections. Well, okay. Um... See. Yeah, no pressure, Dad. No good grief. Well, I'll be I'll be honest, I um I am not a big fan of social media and the whole I don't know what you want to call it, but oh I found Optimus Prime's head. Hold on. Found it, found it. Everybody rest easy. from MP44. So, reflections. I don't like social media, really at all. It's kind of like a nece necessary evil for kind of creators and people that make stuff for a living, I think. And even that's changing with companies and corporations changing the rules and the way things work every day. Uh, so, I do really love interacting with people. I'm a very, very, very social person. I actually get, like, mostly fuel from Comic-Cons. Um, even though I'm, like, dead tired at the end of the experience, it's it's still an amazing thing to be able to talk to people who are so into the same thing that I am into, which is making stuff and making stories and meeting people who appreciate those stories is incredible. So it kind of, like, this um, live show is like a very small Comic Con, like manageable Comic Con. <laughs> every, because uh, <laughs> I do draw a Comic Con, you know. Every Friday there's like a little mini Comic Con. So thank you all for being here, um, supporting the channel for, let's see, when did I start this? It was like. It was, I think it was like April or May 2020, and I didn't even know like what cameras to use or how to hook them up into the computer or anything, like anything at all. So here I am now going live with a very professional camera, I'll have you know. <laughs> um, if only the camera made the photographer or the videographer, but that's not the case. Um, I don't know. It's just been really awesome. It's been great to learn about this kind of stuff. It's been great to connect. It's been great to be a part of your lives for, you know, since 2020. It's like three years. This is like, yeah, we're like over three years, right? That's crazy that we've been doing this. And uh, we're almost to 10,000 subscribers. We're like 9.67 or something. I feel like 10K is like the number. I don't know. Um,. And it's, like, so great to have everyone here. And thank you for everyone's patience. Also, as, like, some days I've just straight up, like, ghosted for weeks at a time because I just cannot make anything happen. And um, I'm going to try and be better about letting people know if I cannot make it earlier so people are not betting on my time or betting their time that I, you know, might go live on a Friday or not. But um, I've had a lot of people, like, talk to me about... Um, Friday with D-dubs and how much they, they appreciate it and that's like amazing too like that's amazing because like I definitely am not a YouTuber um, but I think in, in some ways that kind of maybe works in my favor because um, you know I just don't want to play the the game like oh like and subscribe I just can't Ugh. I just want to go live Say hello, and uh, just keep it chill. And the people who are here are here, and the people who are not are not, and that's fine. Everything's cool. So, but like the fact that people have been resonating with the show, it's been awesome. I mean, I basically just 
turn the camera on and as long as I'm not going to get in trouble I I put on what I'm working on so and Rudy asked a question what my next project is and I cannot say yet unfortunately sorry Rudy but um, it is really exciting um, I'm really I'm having a really good time drawing it I'll say that like a really good time um, yeah I think I think people are gonna be really excited and hopefully I'll be able to do a few pages live of this new project and you know it's not a creator owned book so I'm not as at I'm not as at liberty to like throw it up on Friday with D-dubs as long as it's not like a spoiler page it's like when I was working on do a power bomb you know there were multiple times you guys know where I would just like throw it on for the stream just because I was like well I'm in the I'm in the midst of battle and I gotta finish this and so and if I'm totally honest I have to like work on a cover for boom when I get home later tonight but but that's okay because I wanted to go live and I was not here last week but I needed to do this too so and now I'm just rambling I am enjoying it it's really fun it is a challenge but it's also really fun um, and I'm like really having a good time drawing it so I'll let you guys speculate shouldn't have to wait too much longer now Rudy I'm sorry to let you down when it comes to that but I can show you something that you will like this is the new guitar you guys are gonna find out pretty soon that I have a problem this is a Collings uh, I-35LC. Um, this is an incredible instrument. I got it from Chicago Music Exchange. Not usually go and I'm not usually a um, hollow body kind of guy but um, I played this guitar once in the shop I wasn't even gonna play it but um, I wasn't even planning on going to the shop but my old old friend my buddy Eric from college was in town from Kansas and uh, oh, I just got white out on the fretboard that's awesome thank you yeah, great job Dan Oops. Um, Whatever. It's time to give this some nicks anyway. It's too nice of a guitar. I need to drop it at some point and give it a nice good dent. And then it'll be really mine. But anyway, um, stopped at this shop and we were just playing random guitars um, at this because we were just hanging out. We were like, where, where do you want to go? And we got some food and went to the music shop. And um, I just was like, I saw it on the wall and I was like, oh, I'll try that one. And the shop guy was like, it's a dangerous thing. You shouldn't shouldn't just play that. I was like, why? And he's like, well, you know, you're going to want to buy it. And I was like, uh-huh, uh-huh. And I played it. And I was like, okay, what can you do for me? And that's how that happens. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, white out on the fretboard, MF. Now it's truly mine. <laughs> oh, I'm such an idiot. Hollow bodies are great. Um, I really love how chill. I, I am more of a um, if I'm if we're really gonna nerd out here, but I am a big fan of more warm sounding instruments. I, I don't love super uh, trebly kind of things. So you know, I have a few Stratocaster style guitars, but I'm very sensitive to the uh, like how bright they can be. So a lot of times I will like turn down, I like won't get a guitar because it's just a little too spiky. Uh, and hollow bodies, they can be, they can be bright. They have the potential to be bright, but a lot of times they're just really chill. And I really love that, that tone and that sound. And um, I'm also getting more into like playing uh, jazz and like kind of like jazz tunes and 
Um, not like you have to have a hollow body style guitar to play jazz at all. Definitely not saying that, but um, I do have an Ibanez hollow body that I love. It's very, it's a, it's a pretty cheap one, you know, a nice guitar, but it's, and it, I've gigged with it at least three times, and every time I'm like, I cannot keep it in tune. So I'm thinking to myself, like, do I spend however much money to try and fix a problem on this guitar? Um, or do I just, you know, I was not planning on getting another hollow body, but life has a way. <laughs> Anyway, you know what's so fun to draw? Nicks on chains, little dents on chains. I love that texture. Every time I die, oh man, you're bringing me back. I used to listen to those guys in college. The one of the uh, guitarists is the is a pro wrestler. Andrew, you know what? I think Greg Capullo is amazing. And I met him once. Now, I am not... I don't consider myself to be, like, top tier. You know? Like, I... I there's a lot of people... I'm standing on the shoulders of many giants. Um, but I... You know... Most people now... You know, or most, like, creators, you know, I, I'd say... Hello, I'm Daniel. And they're like, Daniel who, huh? Why, what are you doing here? I'm like, oh, I'm Daniel Warren Johnson. And they're like, ah, oh, okay, hey, I'd like your work. You know, Murder Falcon or whatever, right? And uh, I met Greg Capullo at San Diego Comic Con. This is years ago. I think it was 2019. And um, I was like, and I saw him walking towards me with his wife. And, you know, he looked like he was having a nice night. And I was like, oh my gosh, you're Greg Capullo. I totally nerded out, you know. And uh, I was like, I'm working on Wonder Woman. He's like, that's great, man. That's awesome. <laughs> He, but, like, he was super nice, but he had, like, no idea who I was, right? And he was with his wife. So I'm not going to be there and be like, hey, I hear you really like guitars. I just wanted to, like, if there was, like, a recognizing, recognized moment there, you can be, like, you can start a, up a different conversation that isn't, like, I'm a huge fan, you're a huge inspiration. <laughs> but I was, like, basically, like, I'm a huge fan, you're inspiration. And then we went our separate ways. So... I also wanted to talk with John Romita about working out. John Romita Jr., I should say. And uh, it's totally cool. I do not expect John Romita Jr. to know who the F I am in any way, shape, or form. But like, he's got some muscles, and I really wanted to talk to him about his muscles. But it's just, you know, you read a room, and you're like, I think I'm just going to tell him I like Spider-Man and move on. <laughs> oh, my gosh, sorry. Look at this. Another... Friday with D-Dubs Bingo. Zooming in on a piece of art and forgetting to zoom back out. My apologies. Greg is ripped. used a what? A fork with anyone not helping him. He used a fork? Yeah, but I'm selfish. Do I watch him? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be right there. My son is using a fork for the first time. And I must be going. 
This has been another wonderful edition of Friday with D-Dubs, the 100th episode. Look at that, and I totally blanked. I'm like, 100. Should have done like a giveaway or something. Maybe that'll happen for episode 101. Maybe 100, episode 102, it'll be a huge party, and that'll be a surprise for you. Um, okay. Here's my makeshift cape. I think we did pretty good here. It's a little insane. But it's still fun. Yeah. Add some screen tones and call it a day. Almost, I just have to do this chain. Erase some pencil lines. Good times. Thanks for being here, everybody. Uh, what a blast. As always, thank you so much for the support. Um, if you haven't already, please uh, like the video. I'd appreciate it so much. Um, I've promised, for anybody who's watching who's new, I've promised that I will never ask anyone to subscribe. And I'm not going to do it today. <laughs> Don't want to play the game. Thanks for everything. Uh, thanks for your time. Thanks for your support. Have a great weekend. I'm excited for Cake, Chicago Alternative Comics Expo. Always great to check out the work there this weekend. Um, and otherwise, hopefully I'll see you next week. As long as I'm not too busy, I'll do my best to make it happen. Talk soon, everyone. Now just watch me walk back to the computer and hit end stream. Bye-bye.